The huge building you see behind me is one of Ontario Power Generation's fossil fuel generating stations. This one uses coal. Other fossil fuel generating stations use oil and natural gas to make electricity. In essence, it's a factory that converts the energy from burning coal into a flow of electrons, or what is commonly called electricity, the electricity that powers the province. Coal is shipped to the station by freighter or train, where it's then transferred to the coal yard. There, large machines called tractor scrapers arrange the coal into storage piles. A series of conveyors transports the coal into the plant where it passes through enormous pulverizers that grind the coal into a fine powder prior to burning. The pulverized coal is fed into a large industrial furnace that is surrounded by boiler tubes filled with water. The intense heat from the burning coal heats the water in the boiler tubes and turns it into steam. The steam is transferred under pressure at high speed through large pipes to turbines like these. It's this pressure and flow that pushes the blades of the turbine, causing it to spin. The turbine is connected to a generator that contains a rotor. Large electromagnets are attached to the rotor that is located within coils of copper wire called the stator. As the generator rotor spins, a flow of electrons is created in the stator. This produces electricity that can be stepped up in voltage through the station transformers and sent from the station across transmission lines. The steam from the turbine is condensed back to water using cooling water from the lake and pumped back to the boiler where it is reheated to continue the process.